had to just had to go through some connections over here, bro. <laughs> right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, man. All right, you are you on your headphones or you you on your headset or you on the phone? I'm on my headphones. Why is that? A, is it too much noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to take me off that because it's too much feedback because I got headphones on. You know, I might want to. I, I'm not going to keep you long, bro. Right. I, I ain't going to keep you long. Nah, you're good. All right. <laughs> I ain't going to keep you long, man. I ain't going to keep you long. All right, we about to get into. I'm off the headphones now. All right, that's perfect. I can hear. I can hear you real good too. I can hear you real good. All right, man. Well, welcome to the show. I really do appreciate it. What's going on, guys? Lockout man here in the truck on the thirty with a special podcast for you this evening. Yo, this this brother right here has been in the trucking game, and throughout his travels, he's seen a lot of a lot of a lot of sadness. A lot of sadness. Him and his group came together to form this uh, this coalition called Truckers Feeding the Homeless. It's a it's a great initiative, and I reached out to him so he can come on the podcast and tell us more about it. I'd like for you guys to put your hands together for Choice Mass. What's going on, my brother? Hey, no doubt, no doubt. the word out about it. No doubt, no doubt, man. What y'all, what y'all doing over there is a great thing, man. I've been, I've been following it ever since the beginning when you, uh, when you guys started this, man. Hey, uh, tell the, tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you come from, and who you are. Uh, I'm from New York. Uh, um, my name is Choice Mass. Uh, you call me Choice. You call me Mass. Or you can call me Choice Mass. Um, I'm just a regular human being like everybody else. Uh, I uh, uh, got into the trucking game, flatbed in in 2016, and I've been trucking ever since. Um, I'm an OTR truck driver. Uh, we and just really one of the head figures in trucking feeding the homeless that really try to drive the uh, like you said, the initiative, right. the movement, home, right. trying to get the word out to everybody. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, this uh, this my man, Choice Mass. I've been following this cat. Uh, I came across his uh, YouTube channel a, a while back and uh, been a fan of him ever since. Been a fan of him ever since. You guys go over there and uh, check him out, Choice Mass. I'll go ahead and link all of that good stuff in the uh, in the in the. Uh, description below but right now man it's not about this man it's about the initiative what they doing choice right. when 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 did this when when did this became a phenomenon when where where did it start man where did it start um i mean my community outreach has been my entire life i've been doing that um uh, trucker seeing the homeless was um born in 2018 2018 in august in dallas when uh me and a group um that i'm involved with called the stoop we met in dallas um we had an airbnb and we went down there and spent some time together and we had a bunch of extra food and a, another fellow driver um, who, I, who, I, who I consider close to me, that awesome trucker, um, asked me if we, if we, she told me, we, hey, Choice, we got a lot of food. What do you think about going and giving the plates out to the homeless? And I said, yeah, let's do it. So that was the seed that was really planted. Um, with that awesome trucker when she did that. And so we went out, we gave out 50 plates to um, to the people in Dallas. And uh, I actually have a lot of fees on uh, while we were doing that, pretty intense. Um, and um, and saw some crazy things, but it touched my heart. 
And at that point in time, we weren't truckers feeding the homeless. It was just a thought. Right. You so was just a. You was just a. Done. You was just a group of. Uh, of uh, concerned people that had just had some extra food and you guys just didn't want to throw it away. Y'all didn't want to waste it. So you you guys just start right. to go out and, and and give it to the to the less fortunate. Right. So we did that. And when we, we you know, we all went our separate ways the next day on Monday and left Dallas and it just was weighing in on my heart. So I, you know, I, reached out to an awesome trucker. We call her 18. I reached out to 18 and uh, and said, look, um, this is what we did last night was incredible. It's something that we need to continue to do. I feel like it's our job to do it. And um, AT said, okay, I agree. And I said, all right, so we're going to make it a point to do this twice a year. And she said, okay. And then, um, you know, I had come up with the name Truckers Feeding the Homeless and they got the logo. So, and the lo and the slogan, One Mile at a Time. Okay. And that's okay. how it evolved into what it is today. Um, so, you know, uh, that's why I say I'm just a co-founder. AT is the other co-founder. She planted the seed. And um, and it just it just grew I, from there. Yeah. So yeah, and I started trying to take it to the next level, and then us as a family made it happen. So how many how how many in the 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 first round? And you said it was only a you said it was only a small group of y'all. Uh, the first round was in Dallas, right? Y'all y'all was at the Dallas right. Trust Show. Mm -hmm. Uh y'all yeah. you you guys decided to you guys decided just that was just the ordinary meetup, right? You know, that was just that was just like yeah. you know, just like an ordinary meetup. Yo, let's just get together, that's meet it. everybody that's in the you know, that's in the group, shake hands, play games, yada yada yada. But uh yeah. but it just it's a after all that said and done, y'all noticed that y'all had some extra food left. Y'all y'all before y'all went back on the um went back on the road what day was this was was it this what day was this that y'all decided to 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 go out to give the the the, the additional food that you guys had that was sunday because well we you know we initially was we would meet up it wasn't our first meetup but it was a normal meetup as you said um but we had always what we did we usually meet up by thursday at the truck shows and we stay on the Airbnb till Sunday. It's a real great atmosphere. You know, it's like a damn adult fraternity in, 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 in a sense. Um, uh, you know, you have a lot of fun. Like you said, laugh, joke, eat together. Um, a great time. And then uh, on Sunday, it was a Sunday. That Sunday, I'm not sure, in 2018, I, I want to say it was, I know it was the end of August. It was the when the Gats was going on in 2018 that Sunday that we decided to take the plates because there was no way we all could have took all the food that we had out and we would have thrown a lot of it away. So, you know, um, and I mean, sadly, it's something that happens every day. We, I know truckers know it, uh, and even if you're not a trucker. You go to the diner, it, it's already known that, you know, Western culture, the United States, North America, that, you know, our portions are just way too much. If you go over, you know, over to Europe and 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 other exotic countries, portions aren't as big as they are over here. We waste food like it's just yeah. ridiculous yeah we waste it's, a it's we disgusting. we we you know? waste a lot of food i mean if you right if you work in the if you work in the uh in the food industry and 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 right. at the and at the end of the night i mean you know i you know unfortunately mm -hmm. i i worked in the food industry i'm 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 not sure who hasn't worked in the in the food industry right but y'all yeah. seen how much food that that they literally throw away at night and right and you it's know crazy. It's, it's it it would be cool that if some people just come along and say oh all this food right here this 
let's just bag this up and just just take it out and just give it to the less fortunate but no nah, they they just want to just they just want to chuck it all away man they just want to chuck it all away yeah um it's it's it's, cool. it's shelf life even fast food joints have shelf life you know if a burger stays up on the shelf for more than 11 minutes the burger king is supposed to be thrown away i want to eat that you know and it's just like you said there's millions and millions and pounds and pounds of food and and drink that's just thrown away. So Dallas, so Dallas was the first. Did now I I I seen that video. It looked like y'all 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 only went out with the intent of just giving away what you guys had left. But y'all seen that uh it y'all seen that a lot of people came over. Y'all y'all just thought, hey, let's let's go back and and uh let's go back and re up. Right. So, yeah, that day, because we actually went out during the day, and we only went out with, like, 24 plates. And when I say plates, I mean, I'm talking, like, if you ever go to them buffets and they got to pay by the pound, these plates, these places were filled up. Plus, they got cake. And, like, I mean... They had enough to feed. It was enough to feed two or three people in the place. So it's not like we just went and we gave them a little of this, a little of that. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, plus, we had the intention to get rid of the food, so we tried to get as much as we could in the plates. So we only took out 24 plates, and the response when the people just, like it got to the point where we ran out of, we ran out of food and more people were coming over that had missed out and we felt bad so we went and made up another like 28 plates so that's why i said it went around 50 landed around 50 um more or less plates all together and then we went out at nighttime which is when uh is when i we saw i mean it's some really it your stomach got to be built for it. Like, it was really heavy to see what was going on out there. Uh, we went out on a bridge, an uh, overpass, where people literally were just camped out. I'm going to talk about maybe 50 to 75 people camped out on this overpass. And when I say camped out, I mean, some of them just laying on a cement. No blanket, no nothing. Um, uh, handicapped people, old, young People that looked like they were in their teens, fresh out of high school, wondering why they would be there with so much opportunity in front of them. To older people wondering where's the people that's taking care of them. Do they have family that cares about them? Um, you know, we gave one guy, we offered one guy food, and it's on the video. He literally was said, he could hardly talk. He said, I just need water. And it was, that was impactful just to see and understand that water, just water. Meanwhile, we have juices and sodas on the road and all these things at home. And we, the we stuff that we take these, it, the stuff that we drinks. take for granted. Right. This guy just, he could hardly talk, not because he couldn't talk, because he was so dehydrated and he just wanted water. So that was another thing. Um, you know, one guy got a plate and when he got the plate it was like oh we got food everybody gets up food but then when he opened the plate he started crying because he saw we didn't give him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it was wow. like you know that's that's got to be impactful that's yeah that's um, got to be impactful to, 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 to see stuff like that man to actually yeah. see somebody then, uh, appreciate just just to appreciate just the simple stuff you know what i'm saying yeah just the simple yeah, stuff yeah. you know when they yeah. see people come out there and, and 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 care care about you care about your well-being you know i understand it's only going to be for a couple of minutes but that right. that couple of minutes waits hard right there yeah so yeah, uh so pretty. So Dallas, man, y'all y'all got back together the next day. Y'all chopped it up, and uh, y'all was like, "Yo, let's 
y'all was like, yo, let's do it again at the Dallas. So how how did how how did the Dallas come together? Because the Dallas was a little bit bigger. So, you uh you you, no, you the were, next one Yeah. I'm I'm sorry, the next one was Louisville. Oh, Louisville. My fault, my fault, Louisville. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so uh oh, excuse me. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So Louisville came about because we always we plan we always met up at the truck show or the Max truck show was in Louisville every year. So in two thousand and nineteen in March, I believe it was, the Max truck show came and we gave ourselves a goal to meet. Uh the goal started out at two hundred people to feed two hundred people. And um Somehow, <laughs> through uh, faith and works, uh, the goal up itself to 300. Um, so we met out at Louisville in March, and we fed, again, plated with a side salad, two waters, three meat, three sides. Uh, mm. Cookies. You making me home. Um, you you making me hungry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. And candy. There's some candy out there too. Uh, they actually got candy and soda. They got a can of soda in Louisville, uh, and we fed. We ended up feeding 375 people in Louisville, and it was it was our first big turnout. We accomplished the goal, mind you. We cooked all of this food, uh, the stoop, um, and uh, other volunteers that wanted to get involved. Uh, shout out to RTI, who helped out. Um, they, uh, we, it was just, it's just incredible, man. I know. Um, in Louisville, you know, that awesome truck has stayed up for 64 hours straight. Basically, uh, country no, ghetto. No sleep, uh, huh? Right, no. Country ghetto stayed behind the grill for like eight and a half hours. Now, some people might think that that's nothing, but I'm talking about a, the smoke. Like his eyes look like they were falling out of his head. You, you, your eyes get exposed to smoke for eight straight hours. That's like emergency room material. There you um, go. There so you go. If you could imagine, like he could, yeah. So country ghetto, uh, new Anthony Newhouse, everybody. Uh, they all there's, there's plenty of people, yeah. They all that, checked uh, in. Helped. It was yeah, yeah, the entire school. But uh we ended up feeding three hundred and seventy five and that was and that was also impactful to a point that we had to go into the shelters because there was a lot of handicapped people that couldn't get out to us. And uh the shelters welcomed us in and when you go and you Walk into these shelters and you see that everybody is just a bunk number. I'm talking about 100, 200 cots, bunk bed cot with a number on it. And unfortunately, and I'm not saying anything bad about them, but the stench and just the the sight of the it was it was these, hurtful to uh, your heart. Yeah, man, it's people are. Um, it's hard. I don't. I hey. I I feel it, man. I I, I hear you. You I, I hear you. It's, it is, it is choked up. It is it is a hard sight to see because these these are people too, man. I mean, it's just unfortunate right. that they that they hit a little bit more harder times than 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 we did. You know, we're we're fortunate, right. and you got you know you got some guys you you got some guys that's that's in trucking. That's that's complaining about, you know, complaining about being in this being in this truck, being in this small rolling prison, being in this uh, small confined space. Well, try imagining yourself as a number on a bunk in 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 a in a crowded room with everybody else that don't have nothing. Where you gotta no. sleep on your sneakers because you might wake up and, and somebody will take it. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, like imagine, uh, imagine going, filthy. imagine going up under, going up under an underpass and you see all those tents. I mean, it it was shocking to me when I, in Houston, I was just you know I I go to Houston all the time and I see it. 
all the time. You go up under the uh, uh, up under them underpass, and you see tents. Mm-hmm. You see tents. Mm-hmm. You see cots. You see you see all of that. Mm-hmm. Try yeah. your 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 issue, bro. You you making money. You getting paid every week, and all you got to do is just move this truck up and down up up and down the highway. Them, mm-hmm. they they don't know when they next meal is coming from so these brothers right here these brothers and sisters right here in the trucking world came together because they travel all over we see it we see a lot and we say if we stop moving the world stop moving you know what i'm saying so they came uh, oh go ahead no go ahead i I was going to you just talk about those tank camps and just people don't know that these, the cities, they come through with bulldozers, and they don't ask any questions. Mm-mm. They just they bulldoze they just them bulldoze out and move them out the way. Those, that's it. That's it. You with know, the and you know, like I said, I, I, I man, listen, I, I praise you guys for 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 what y'all did, or for what y'all did and what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? I had I had the GoFundMe page up uh, just a few minutes ago while you was talking. I brought it back up. Uh, right now, your your goal is uh, five thousand. They gun they GoFundMe is uh, truckers feeding the homeless. Uh, and you know, backslash GoFundMe, or just type in GoFundMe, and then go to search and find truckers feeding the homeless. Is right here. They goal is five thousand right now. Uh, they're at two thousand seventy-five. Uh, the nets, the nets one is in Baltimore. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, their GoFundMe right here, definitely go and uh, support the movement. You know what I'm saying? They can, and choice. If if they don't yeah. have if they don't have monetary, if they don't have monetary, what what can what can we do to get involved if we don't have if we don't have monetary, man? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so, you know, we get we get a lot of lashback and a lot of uh, negative feedback because we raise money to do this. Um, so we we truck when I say we I mean truck and feeding the homeless. We the first thing that we ask the public for has is is not money. We we don't the first thing we ask the public for is to help us to come out, meet us on the front line and help us. So we invite everyone everyone to come and experience it with us and to help. Um, we've done that from the beginning. Uh, so hands-on, when you know, is always a plus. You can come out, help us cook, if you can help us feed the people, um, if you, whatever you can do to help us hands-on, that's a beautiful thing. Um, outside of that, we take donations. You can send sheets. You can send blankets. They can be used, but they got to be laundered. You can send T-shirts, um, socks, underwear, but the underwear has to be brand new in the package. You don't take used. Yeah, underwear. yeah. We can't, we can't, um, we can't be wearing no other people's underwear out here. So definitely make sure they yeah. make sure they're brand new. You can you can get some cheap underwear at the dollar store, y'all. I mean, you could get a pack yeah. of the underwear for like right. for like two dollars and uh, and send it to my man. Hey, uh, tell them where they can send. Tell them where they can send these items uh, to you at uh, Choice. Uh, you can send them to one one zero Fremont. That's F R E M O N T Street, Peekskill, New York. Um, Peekskill is P E E K S K I L L. Hold on, right uh, quick. Let me, let me. Let me. I'm. I'm. I'm about to type this down, right quick. Just start all over. What's the address okay. again? One one zero. One one zero. Fremont. F R E M O N T. Okay. So it's really like Fremont. So uh, Fremont uh-huh. Street. Street. Peak Hill. Yeah. Street. Peak Hill. P E E E E K S K. S K I L L I L L 
Yep, New York. New York. One zero five six six. One zero five. Six, six. Six, six. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead and put let me go ahead and put this up. Oh, go ahead. You say address. Okay, yeah, so you, address. Yeah, you can address it to Choice Mass or Trucking Feed the Homeless. Either one, it doesn't matter. I'd rather you uh, do Trucker Feed the Homeless, so it, it, it's just easy to recognize. Truckers feeding the homeless. All right, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to put this, I'm about to put this up on the, I'm about to put this up on the banner right now. Give me a second. Yeah. yeah me, uh, give me a second. Use, if yeah, you got any, if, if you got anything that, uh, thing else to talk about, man, talk about, uh, talk about the, talk, talk about the turnout. How now? This was, this was in conjunction with, with your group and other groups. How? How did the other groups come into play uh, during the Louisville, Kentucky uh, Truckers Feeding the Homeless event? Well, Louisville, well, no, I wasn't really in conjunction with other groups. For RTI, um, we we uh, we intertwine with RTI, uh, meaning there's guys, you know, there's R- if anybody doesn't know, for the people that are listening to the podcast, RTI is another trucking group. Um, we have friends in RTI. I, RTI has friends in us. Um, um, so uh, they happen to meet up at the truck shows as well, and they were extended an invite to the Airbnb just in general, and they were also aware of what we were there to do. So they came through. They cooked. Uh, you know, and helped and hung out at the Airbnb for the most part. Okay. Um, uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to stick around for handing out the food, but right. it really doesn't matter. Um, the fact that just them showing up, showing support was 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 all that mattered. Right, right. That's right. That's right. So that's why I said a big shout out to RTI and the guys all the time. Um, uh, that's about it, really. We we try we tried. I mean, this this last event in Dallas was when people started taking notice of it. Drive trucks literally took flights out and joined us. Okay, at the Airbnb, they handed the food out, helped prep everything. That is when it really. Like that to me speaks volumes because that's what we want. We want people to get involved, and the fact that it's reaching outside the trucking community is beautiful as well. And uh, the fact that people would take their time and their money to take a flight, rent a car, to do this, experience it, and it impact them so um, thoroughly that they're going to return. And to do Baltimore as well, and is even more involved this year than they were last year. Okay, I guess that's what it's about. That's what's so. up, man. That's what's up. Um, with the with with the uh, with the funding and everything, this let the people know this this is all nonprofit, right? You you guys is not making a profit off of this, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> The the money right, the, so, so the money the money that they the money that they are raising just to let you guys know the, because I I I was you know I know what some people are thinking like oh okay they raising all this money and they only spending a little bit of it and then they they pocketing the rest no 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 my man choice mass don't roll like that he don't roll like that right. the money that's I'm, the money that they're raising is all going towards the well well now the event you know what i'm saying it's it it became it started as a small group to now being an event and to now being that all the money that they're getting and all the money that they're raising is going to the next event whatever they don't spend in this one they save it over and then get it going for the next one 
You know what I'm saying? I I I, I, right. I hear I hear what some of the people are saying, man. Like, yo, they uh they they raising this money and they trying to uh they trying to pocket this money. This 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 is only this is only just a you know a YouTube thing. Right. But no, nah, this so, this is not a YouTube thing. Yeah, if you don't mind, and I can address that. Go ahead. Fast. Go ahead. Um, first of all, we never have money left over. The stoop always comes out, and we we end up coming out of our pockets a couple of racks. I mean, between if I put all the money that comes out of all of our pockets all together, we still end up, believe it or not, we still end up coming out between three and five thousand, another three and five thousand dollars, because it's it people don't understand. First of all, the food we need things to hand the food out. Those are rental cars alone. We pay for that. The 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 we pay for that out of our pocket. We don't we've never asked for monetary gain. We've never asked for a monetary donation. The reason we have a GoFundMe is because we were doing this out of our pocket. People heard about it and they said to us, just what you were talking about earlier, they said, we can't be there in person and I can't send you food, perishables, because we don't have any place to keep them at this current time. So they said, can I send you money? So we said, no, we don't want you to send us money directly. Give us some, give us some time to figure this out. So we involved GoFundMe to give people their, what, to, to grant their wishes. They wanted to send the money. We weren't. We didn't say, "Oh, let's start a GoFundMe and raise money." That's not how it happened. People were asking, "How can we send you some money? How can what, what can we do?" So we got GoFundMe involved. A lot of people are against GoFundMe because they take three percent out. So that's three cents on every dollar. Okay, so ninety-seven cents. Now I always say to people, "Are you going to sacrifice?" Let's talk about a hundred dollars. Are you going to sacrifice feeding someone with $97 because you got to give $3 of it away? No, I'm not. I would gladly give the man over here $3 to let me feed this guy with 97 Also, GoFundMe needs that because they, they're insured. So if me, Choice Mass, who runs the GoFundMe, was doing something underhanded, and anybody can call GoFundMe up because it's an open platform, and that's why we use GoFundMe. You can get all my information. You can get who's running the GoFundMe. You can you can talk to them if you feel like something is going underhanded. And GoFundMe, if they find or deem that anything was being done wrong or is a scam, they refund everybody back their money in full. This is why we use the GoFundMe. It's a third-party platform that checking that, like I said, it, it, it polices what we do. There's nothing that we can do underhanded with that money. Exactly. Uh, finally, finally, people will say, well, you got to stay in the Airbnb, I've heard, or you got to stay. We do that out of our money. The only thing that the GoFundMe pays for is, is the food. All the food and all the supplies that needed to cook, bag, like the forks, the knives, the napkins, the plates, the uh, little little uh, to-go cups, the side salad boxes, the, uh, the plastic bags that we got. We also, what people don't understand is we started giving out health care packages, so hygiene packages. That's almost $750 to $1,200 in hygiene packages that come with toothbrush, toothpaste, rags, um, hand sanitizer. We're talking about 600 people we did in Dallas this last this last uh, event. We did 624 people. That's a lot so of cheese, bro. Yeah, that's what I mean. So we're not, it's not just going to the food. It goes to the supplies that's needed to cook the food, the supplies that's needed to bag the food, the supplies that they need to eat the food, um, and the, the hygiene packages. So Anything that's made, including from my store online, any profit that's made from buying a truck or sheet behind a homeless item or anything from that Airbnb, I mean, from that uh, 
the uh, GoFundMe goes directly to the homeless. That's None of it up. goes into our pocket, and we all come out of our pocket even more at the end of the day to make it happen. That's what's up, yeah. man. If you don't mind my asking, how for the for the Dallas one, how 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 what was the end result? What was your what was you guys able to come up with? Did y'all hit the goal? Did y'all get over the goal or under the goal? Did, or what was the uh, uh, what was the end result in Dallas? For the GoFundMe, uh, the end result we didn't we didn't even come close. The goal was I think it was I want to say it was fifteen grand. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried something different though. We tried we tried getting the cater, um, and it actually. I'm glad that we made it happen because it really did not work out for the better. <laughs> uh, we we it, we really really had a hard time with the caterers. They 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 ended up shorting us some plates. Wow. Um, there was something wrong with one of the pans of food that they gave us, and. Because we come in all shapes and sizes and colors and truckers feeding the homeless, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that, you know, they basically insinuated that we were doing something underhanded. Wrong. Right. Right. Mind you, you know, you know that mm -hmm. my cameras are going all the time. Exactly. So I had six cameras on the event from when them trays showed up to the entire, you know, but I kept it extremely professional with the lady. I let her say whatever she wanted to say. I addressed it professionally, and we let them be. But nonetheless, we fed 624 people and clothes. We gave out 620, uh, um, 600 to 700 T-shirts, 600 to 700 pairs of socks, 625 care packages. Um, we gave out sneakers, boots. Uh, uh, we gave pants. We gave out. So many, like, it was a crazy turnout. So it was beautiful. Dallas was amazing. Dallas was amazing. All right, all right. And, uh, so uh, let's let's uh, yeah. let's uh, let's get to the let's get to the current event, man. So the new event is going to be held where? Uh, the new event is Baltimore 2020 in August. Uh, I mean, July 29th to August 3rd. Um, we chose. I chose Baltimore, and uh, why you choose? They, they backed me up. Why? Why you choose Baltimore and 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 not the trucking shows uh, locations? Well, the first thing is because obviously there's more hungry people in the world than just where the trucking shows are. We have already been there twice. Um, secondly, uh, I mean that would be the most important. There's obviously other people in need other than Louisville and Dallas. Um, Baltimore, for me, I have no sentimental value or connection to Baltimore. Uh, I want to say that uh, I, I just feel like God God sent me that way. Anytime we talked about what the next place was, if you can envision, you know, the neon signs in the window flashing, that's how Baltimore would flash in my head. So uh, it just was really literally in all capitals flashing in my head, Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore. I I don't even really I I don't know anyone in Baltimore. I I it just fell on my heart that that's what where we needed to go. And when I brought it up, they all backed me up. Thankfully, I got an amazing team, and they just all backed me up. And so we're we going to do Baltimore. All right. So do you, do you, now how now how 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 is Baltimore going to be? Y'all y'all pit the Y'all pit, is it going to be like you guys going to go out on the streets? You guys going to hit, uh, you guys, well, let me do it like this. You, you guys going to go out on the streets or you guys is in conjunction with, with homeless shelters and stuff like that? Well, uh, that's a good question. All a great question. We always hit the streets. Uh, we hit the streets first because that's where the most needing people are. People only got to understand that. The shelters are already fed. Shelters are fed, if not once a day. The shelter, people that live in the shelters get fed twice a day. So the people on the streets are who we are most concerned about. Um, uh, so that's what we, we hit the street. What happens is every time we hit the street, the people from the shelters know it, 
find out and they come flooding out of the shelter to grab food, which is okay. Because we, we always say one thing that one of our mantras is we're not here to judge, we're here to feed. So we don't care what your issue is. Hell, I'll be honest with you, if you showed up and had a place to stay, you'd probably get a plate. Because we're just there to feed. Um, but we go and feed the streets first. Uh, um, but we are, so speaking to your question, we are in conjunction in a sense that people think that we don't just make the plans and show up at the cities. It's, it, this is a lot behind this. So we literally call. So if you were to go on Google right now, you Google Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore um, homeless shelters. You know those red dots that come up on the Google Maps? Okay, so that's what we do whatever city we're going to. We'll, we'll, we'll go like Dallas. The Dallas homeless shelter. Every homeless shelter that pops up, every one of those red dots, we call and we talk to every representative there and find out as much about the homeless population as we can. We find out where the homeless camps are. We find out where where the best place to feed is. We're gonna find we find out um if we're gonna get any lash back from police. Um what's it gonna look like for us. So we get as much information about the homeless and feeding the streets and the homeless as we can from every one of those shelters, every one of those red dots that come up in the city. And also it's, it's a lot of I patient, just I just pulled it up, man. It's wow. That's right. Right. So we also call the police station. We'll be calling Baltimore local police. We'll be calling Baltimore state police. We also got to get in touch with Baltimore City Hall and submit let, any permits. Let them that know that you're need. about to come through. That's right. That's right. So it's not just, oh, let's go feed the homeless and, and we, we put a GoFundMe out and no, and we stay in the Airbnb and we have a lot of fun. There's a lot of there's a ton of work that goes into it, including things like this that you're doing, which is beautiful. The marketing aspect, as far as getting the word out, setting up and connecting and networking with people. Yes, to get the word out and uh, to help people understand what we're doing, and that there's people out there that you can actually. Our biggest goal is to make them understand that they're not invisible that's what's up man choice mass man yo this this is a beautiful thing uh it's it's a beautiful thing that you you and your group uh shout out shout out to everybody that's uh that's that's participating uh that's participating with this truckers feeding the homeless shout out to the stoop shout out to awesome trucker um shout out to 1034 chilling you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that came together and and just just look beyond yourselves. You know what I'm saying? You look beyond yourselves. And now now it's now it's become not only a, an event, but it's now a phenomenon. So this it, it's not going to stop. Right. It, it's not going to stop right. at Baltimore. Oh, no, right. No, no. It ain't going to stop. Absolutely not. All right, so no, you said this. So is this two? On next year. So so is this is this an annual thing now or a biannual Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. Um, um we uh, it, it's annual. We okay. We, we're we're trying to get to the point where we're a not for profit five hundred one c three, so we can start getting these mega carriers involved. So we okay. Can start getting Public, I, mean, I was, uh, you know what? I was just about to ask you that. I, I was about to ask yeah, you, did you get any sponsors? Yeah. Um, and uh, no, uh, we did I sixty five and Cohen Truck Line. Okay. The only, which is the company that I work for, I sixty five Transport out of Walcott, Indiana, sponsored and Cohen Truck Lines. I think they're out of Ohio. I'm not sure. Uh, that's C O W E N. Um, that's Attitudes. Uh. Uh, trucking company. Those are the only two trucking companies that will help us out, not without us being a 501c3. So shout out to them, a huge shout out to them, and now Olivet Baptist Church in Peaceville, New York, who took a drive for T-shirts and socks and 
I mean, came through with uh, an amazing amount of uh, T-shirts and socks for the homeless. Um, so those are the three entity, entities that helped us out. But um, speaking of that, like I said, we're yeah, they got a they got a pair. Yeah, they they got a Perrysville, Ohio, coal and truck lines. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we, we plan to be a legal 501c3 not for profit by the end of this year. Okay. Um, but with that, again, we have to pay those lawyer fees to sit mm-hmm. down with the lawyer, get that set up. That's that's none of that is cheap. We've and this, already been looking into it. We've already talked about it. It's not it's not like opening up an LLC. And this it's is a, and, a and, of, and this is behind the scenes stuff that you guys is not seeing. What you guys is seeing, right. it's what you guys seeing in the forefront, which is all great, you know. And, and of course, y'all gonna put y'all opinions together, y'all thoughts together, and all like that. I I know what you guys are saying, but y'all don't see what's going on behind the curtain. Y'all y'all don't see what's going what they got what they gotta go through behind the curtain. They gotta choose. They they gotta choose who's gonna do what. It's got to be legalized, and there's money involved, a lot of money. So it's, it's, it's a lot of things that they're going through to make, to make this trucker's feet and the homeless thing happen. Man, Choice Mass, yo, man, yo, it's, it's time for me to get up out of here, bro. I got to get back on this road, but thanks a lot for coming on, chopping it up with me about trucker's feet and the homeless, man. Definitely uh, go back, you know, to the school, uh, to the school. God damn it. I always tongue tie. My fault, Choice. <laughs> I don't mean to be, I, I don't mean to be uh, jacking your name. It's the stoop. All right. The stoop. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> now, you know what I said? A lot of people over here jacking yeah. names. It's the stoop. All right. Stoop, y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, it's all good. If you guys is interested, definitely go to truckersfeetinthehomeless.com. Um, go to the GoFundMe backslash truckersfeetinthehomeless, and definitely send all your non-perishables and anything else you guys want to send to the address that's listed at the top. I will list all this stuff in the uh, in the uh, description below. And you know you guys could come and help out. This this is a it's a phenomenon now, you know, and it's and it's done by truckers. That yep. it's done by truckers. Let me say it again. It's done by truckers. So we're no, we just don't just drive out here. At least we come up with ideas to, that that affect people, and we'll try to come up and make something happen. Choice Mass, thank you very much for being on the show, man. I appreciate you, bro. One love to you and salute to you, man. And keep keep it going, bro. Don't don't let don't yes, let sir. this stop, man. Don't don't let this stop, no. bro. Don't let this stop, yeah, man. No. Keep it going. It. Keep it going. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh getting the word out. Thanks a lot. And remember you guys can always go to truckersfeedinghomeless.com where there's a toll free number as well. You guys can email us, call us. Either way, check the website out, get the word out. Appreciate everybody. Love y'all. Definitely. Choice Mass, everybody. <laughs> All right, bro. I'll talk to you in a minute. All right. That was Choice Mass up in this piece talking about truckers feeding the homeless. If you guys want to be a part of it, definitely go to the website, Truckers Feeding the Homeless. If you want to send some money, go to the GoFundMe, Truckers Feeding the Homeless. Or if you just wanna, if if you just wanna send some clothing items, some some perishables, whatever, toothbrushes. You know, like I said, it's only you go to the dollar store. It's only a dollar, you know, it's only, it's not going to hurt, you know, get like a little care package together and send it to the address right here at the top. Address it to truckers feeding the homeless. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell. But with that bell, you got to hit all. 
in order to get all of the notifications when I come up with new videos. Yo, this is Lockout Men. I am your humble host. Thank you for watching the podcast. I am about to get back at you. Thanks to Choice Mash for coming on here and sharing, uh, sharing the event. If you guys want to know more about it, go to the website. The next event is in Baltimore. You guys take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. Oh, that was a good. Oh, that was a good talk. I like that. I like that.